this video, we will find out what you can find in the bag of a dancer. Hello, my beautiful subscribers. Rasa the Dancer is here. And today we're going to look into my bag, right inside my bag. Okay. Now this bag, <laughs> it is my mother's bag that's been passed on to me. And then she told me to throw away this bag for about, I don't know, five or six times already. And I have not <laughs> because it's perfect for me. It's like a sack and I can throw everything in and because it's so old I can leave it on the floor or whatever and I don't care right so when I go dancing I don't want to take a nice bag I want a bag that could whether fit everything or would be comfortable to dance with right so this is kind of like my go-to and my mother is probably gonna kill me by making this video with this bag but hey it serves the purpose inside I will show you the kind of things I must have if I take a big bag with me to dance now I will note though, I am a unique case. I am kind of a very individual person. So you might be surprised that certain things are not in it and I'll say why. And you might be surprised some of the things are there and I'll explain why. Anywho, you are about to get intimate with me. All right, so let's start with the obvious things. Of course, can you guess what's the first item? Come on. You can guess it. Of course, it's dance shoes. <laughs> so I have my jazz shoes in here and I dance with them. So there you go. That's the obvious choice. I think also maybe the obvious choice will be the next one. I don't know. I think it's obvious. Water bottle. And we still have water in it. <laughs> Not a good sign <laughs> to drink more water. Uh, water bottle I always have with me, even if I would, let's say, go to a club and they might be very strict to not bring water. I can always spill the water out and keep the water bottle with me if they don't allow it. But some places do. So, and I like to, even if I travel, then I might have a little bit more water and I might even sneak in uh, some water. Once I'm there, I might pour some water in it. Um, so basically, I, I don't ever leave my house if I have a big bag if I have a small bag is different but if I have a big bag I always have some water with me stay hydrated as a dancer you do a lot of cardio you need some water okay now I think okay I also have which I think kind of obvious right I have antibacterial uh, cream so that I always carry with me, uh, especially with the dancing. And sometimes, you know, with traveling, uh, trains, automobiles, whatever you name it, this is just a nice thing to do when you're dancing with people, whether wash your hands or disinfect your hands. I think it's just a courteous thing to do. All right. All right. Um, another thing is <laughs> an umbrella. OK, <laughs> I live in London, guys. Whoever lives in London or UK, you understand this. And if you are not from London, when you come to London, make sure you have an umbrella. That's all I'm saying. I'm not leaving my house. Imagine putting makeup on, doing your hair, coming out of the house. And by the time you're in the venue, you're like soaked. Uh -uh, not, me. not me. Okay. Another thing that we have is headphones. I don't leave anywhere with headphones. Even when I'm with a small bag, I will have it on my ears, on my neck, by my side, on my belt. It's I need music because I'm constantly making routines in my head. I need to get in the mood for the club. I need different things. So headphones is, is, is a thing. All right. Then we're going into the dodgy side, okay? <laughs> I have this. And basically this is... Um, thread needle and pins <laughs> i try to always have some thread needle and pins because truth be told when you are a dancer you make some choices in your life about your outfits and you never know when you're gonna need some thread needle or pins so that's there okay 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 we're almost done because I don't have a lot of things actually. So um, lip balm, look cute. Um, <laughs> money, money, money. Always having cash with me. Maybe I shouldn't say it out loud. I have no money, I'm poor. 
Don't attack me. Okay. Um, I have ID cards, just in case they ask at the door. And of course, I have Dance with Rasa business cards. Cha, cha, cha. You come to my class. You come to my class. You come to my class. Uh, some pen. You never know when you need that. And always a jack to my phone so I can play music no matter what. So if, even if I'm not working, if they need me, I'm ready. And another very weird thing that I do have, which is, wait, in the packet, I need to take it out. There it is. Flossing. So sometimes, you know, you might, I don't know, have some food before you go or after you go dancing. And I don't leave my house. Like, I don't care where I go, even in a small bag, whatever. I always have some floss with me. It's, it's my paranoia. And that's it. The sack is empty. Now, what I think you would have thought I would have and I don't have, makeup. Don't carry makeup with me. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't wear a lot of foundation. So nothing bad really can happen to me. The worst that can happen, a bit of runny mascara. I clean it up and I don't care. So that that doesn't bother me a lot uh, at all. I don't use deodorant. I'm not that sweaty by nature. So before I leave the house, I always shower. I use specific creams and stuff. I always perfume myself. I never carry perfume with me. If I apply, uh, apply perfume, it is usually enough for the the whole night I never need to reuse it um, you know because I don't I don't believe I do if I do let me know so those are the things that I think other women as well might have or other dancers might have in their bags uh, but I don't um, I live a simple life but one thing I will say the big bag comes with me only if I feel like it's gonna be an intense night or a little bit longer or something and I do feel like I need all those things but sometimes if I just cannot be bothered or to carry a big bag or I'm wearing something nice and I really don't want to be stuck with this I usually have a little bag and this bag has also a uh, belt and it can go on the dress it can go on the pants on the jeans or whatever and if it's a phone if it's credit cards and if it's a separate section for keys and this is my own dance bag you can get it in my shop dancewithrasa.com uh, but overall this is my lifesaver so whenever I don't want to have a lot of stuff I will take this or sometimes I might even put this in my big bag, put the big bag, whatever, and then keep my phone and credit cards and my key with me at all times. So it's just more convenience when I'm in places where I need my bag with me. So this is a lifesaver for me as well. As I say, if you want it, dancewithrasa.com. But besides that, now you know what I have in my bag. Thank you so much for watching. Now you know a little bit more about me. We're getting intimate. And of course, it's not fair that I share and you do not. So in the comments, can you please tell me at least one item that you think I don't have in my bag that you have in your dancing bag? Let me know. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Give me some likes. Show me some love. Now, guys, I'm going to leave you with the videos that are talking a little bit more about what you should have actually if you're a dancer so check these videos out and as i mentioned before if you want to have a look at my website the things that i have to offer you can go to dancewithrasa.com and have a look the things that are there now i'm gonna send you my love and i will see you soon